Now before you get too far along in your document, you may want to save it because if you have over 50 pages of documentation and you didn't save it, uh-oh, that's going to be toast. And so in any case, before we get too far, let's save it. And to do that, come up here on the Quick Access Toolbar and click the Save button. Now when you click Save, if it's the first time saving your document, it's going to perform a Save As. In other words, the Save As window comes up and it wants to ask you what the new name of the document is going to be because the generic original document one is not doing it for me. And that way I can't identify what this is about as opposed to changing it to maybe the title as Dreamforce About Us and also where you want to save it. So to go ahead and save it, click on Save. Again, it opens up and it performs a Save As to ask us two questions. Where do you want to save it? Well, let me go ahead and scroll up in the navigation pane and click on Desktop and then over in the main view on the desktop. I'm going to double click on the Exercises folder because that's where I want to save it. And then down below is the file name. Now it's got the name Dreamforce. Where is that pulling from? Well, let me click and drag that out of the way and it's pulling right from the first couple words in the document. And so Word thinks that since that's the title, or assumes that's the title of the document, that that's the same name you want to give it for the name of the file. If not, just go ahead and click in it, hit the backspace key, and then just type in what you want to name it. DF About Us. Sound good? Cool. Go ahead and save it. And you can see that you saved it because up on the title bar, it now has your name, DF About Us. Cool, so now it knows its place in society, its name, and also where it's going to live. And that's going to be on your computer, or it could be on the cloud, or on your thumb drive. You choose. That's your flavor. And then once you saved it and you got the name, go ahead and close out of it. And if you're like, hmm, I'd like to open up that document again, there's a couple ways you can go about doing it. The least of which is that if you know where it's at, like in the exercises folder on my desktop, double click to open up the folder. And there it is. Double click to open up the document. Hey, wasn't that fun? Let's go ahead and close out, close out. The other way is to open up Word. And in here, if you're like, hmm, I remember a document I was working on. Let me go ahead and open it up from Word. And you can do that one of a couple of ways. You can either go backstage, click on the File tab, and it goes to the Open. That's by default. Recent selected. And if it's one of your recent ones, like either today, yesterday, and, well, it's the most recent today, then just go ahead and click on it to open it up. And you can see over to the right you got the push pin feature, so you can go ahead and pin it. And you can see now it's pinned, and the push pin's down, meaning that it will never roll off. So you can open up 20,000 other documents, and those that are more recent will be up at the top, and those that aren't will be dropped off. This one won't because it's pinned. Let's go ahead and unpin it so it's now part of the group here that can roll off if we don't open it up frequently or as the most recent document. And go ahead and click on it to open it. Cool. And then keep in mind, of course, is that if you move the document from like the exercises folder, let me show you, close out. If I double click, open it up, and restore it down, and click and drag that to the desktop so it's no longer in there, close out and I open up Word, and I go File, Open, Recent, and I'm like, hmm, let me go ahead and open it up. Sorry, we couldn't find it because you moved it. Okay, it doesn't say you, it's not going to blame you, but it was moved, renamed, or deleted. Oh, nuts. So what you can do instead is say, okay, I need to go find it. Go File, down to Open to Recent, and you don't want this sitting there fooling you every time. So you can go ahead and right-click on it and say, uh, let's go ahead and remove it from the list so I'm not tricked again into thinking that it's still in the same place. Or if you later on move it back into the Exercises folder, you can click on the link and it'll open it back up. But this time, we're going to come down here and click on Browse. Now it opens up the open window, and that took a couple of clicks, as opposed to closing out, going back, and adding the open command to the Quick Access Toolbar because when you click on that, it just takes a single click as opposed to going backstage and then clicking on Browse to open the open window. So I cut your work in half by a single click by adding the command to the Quick Access Toolbar. So now it's opening in the Exercise folder on the desktop. But if we go to the desktop, either by clicking here or coming over here in the Navigation pane and clicking on Desktop, either way, you're to the desktop. And there it is, DF About Us, double click, and it opens it up there as well. Now, when it comes to saving and opening your documents, if it takes you backstage and you're like, 
Hey, adding that command to the quick access toolbar, the open or save as, always takes me backstage and it doesn't go right to the open window or the save as. Then you want to go backstage to file and change the options by going down to options and choosing the save tab and then come down here and check don't show the backstage when opening or saving files. Then once you check that go ahead and click okie dokie and you won't run into that backstage issue. And then finally if you want to create a copy of the original document then you want to perform a save as because when you make changes to the document like well let's go ahead and delete one hoe that when I click on save it doesn't perform a save as because we already named it and we told the operating system where we want to save it. It used to be the exercise folder, but we moved it to the desktop. In any case, it knows where it's at. So it's not going to do the save as. But if we want to go ahead and create a copy, then we want to do a save as so we can get those two questions again. What name do you want to give it? And where do you want to save it? So if we come up here and we click on save as, there's the save as window. If I'm going to be saving it to the same place as my original, then give it a new name because otherwise it'll overwrite the original and you may not want to overwrite the original. So if I come down here and call this, well, space 2 for DF about us 2, great, click save. Or you can keep the same name but just save it in a different place like the exercises folder so it's not overwriting the original. But we'll do number 2, that works for me, click save. And then up here on the title bar it's number 2. So if I come down here and I go ahead and I delete the second hoe and click save it updates it to number two so when I close out and I go back to my desktop well there's number one or the original one and here's number two that that has one hoe and when I double click and open up the original it's got the two so I didn't overwrite it because I made a copy of it by doing a save as and either renaming it or keeping the same name but just saving it in a different place so it doesn't overwrite the original or you can do both. Save it in a different place and give it a new name. And speaking of which, if I decide to go ahead and go back to two ho-hos for the second draft or DF about us number two, just go ahead and click on save as so we can open it up. And then there's number two. Go ahead and select it so it copies the name down below. Then click save and you get your options, the least of which is to replace the existing file. Great. We can go ahead and click OK, or the other options is you can save changes with a different name. So we'll update it, give it a new name, or merge the changes into the existing file. Keep it simple, replace the existing file. We'll talk about merging later on, click okie dokie. And so now, DF about us number two is open with two ho-hos and not one. And let's go ahead and do Control W to close out of that window. Shortcut keys, or you can come up in the upper right hand corner and click on the X. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.